a couple of slings I've been training with lately. First one, it's a leather, leather split pouch. Uh, nylon, just some nylon cord. Mason line whipping. Uh, of course, you can use the pouch either way. This one's relatively short. It's about this one's about two feet. You can see from my thumb to my shoulder. Two feet's about that's about as short as I like to go. This is a real good pouch for small rocks. Uh, it, squash balls from slinging indoors and uh, don't be surprised that a you know short sling a lot, a lot of people think you can't get you can't get a lot of speed from a short sling but I, I can crack them out pretty good with this thing you'd be surprised the other one I've been training with lately nylon webbing from a bandolier sewed it up on either end and then what I do with these is I take a bamboo skewer and I put it through the end to reinforce it I do that on both sides this is the end that you just fold over That, that bamboo skewer is really strong and it keeps the it keeps the pouch it keeps the pouch uh, shaped nice and that'll hold that'll hold just about anything from a tennis ball big rock whatever you want now this one I believe this one's about four and a half feet long put some leather around the around the finger loop just to make it a little bit more comfortable but uh, pretty simple this one as you can see this one goes from my thumb that's a long sling once you start getting much longer than that Uh, you really start to lose accuracy and uh, pouch speed starts to suffer too. You just you just can't you just can't get the you just can't get the RPMs. But uh, it's a really good sling. Works good. If you never made one like this with the with the reinforced ends with the bamboo skewers, give it a shot. Works good.